Thanks for tuning in. Hands Idle 60th News Show Extravaganza. Oh, yes, that's right. It's uh, the Hands Idle 60th News Show Extravaganza. Thank you, strange and disembodied voice. Um, I'm Hands Idle, and yes, it is my 60th show. It's actually not my 60th news show. Uh, I think I'm up to about 40 now. But it is my 60th video, uh, at least the ones that you can see. There's a couple you can't, but they're just for me. You don't get to see those ones. I'm sorry. They're just for me. Um, but yeah, so 60, 60 uh, videos up here on YouTube, so I'm kind of excited, and to uh, show you how excited I am, I'm using the crappy camera, and over here, we have a good camera, hi, so two cameras, it's like a real show now with two cameras, so it's exciting, um, let's get straight to the news, because we had some really weird news happen in the past week. <coughs> As most of you know, I'm sure the wedding of Prince Harry and Kate Middleton is coming up. And to celebrate it, a uh, Chinese uh, company has come out with a commemorative mug. Not that unusual, except uh, it's got a picture of Harry on it instead of William. It's kind of disgusting, disturbing, incestuous. You know, what's really disturbing about this to me is that this will probably be the mug that's worth the most of all the mugs and all the plates and all the commemorative postage stamps that come out. This mug's going to be the one that is worth something. So, order yours now! <coughs> A Pennsylvania woman who crashed a car was arrested for having three bags of heroin in her jacket. Later at the police station, she confessed to police that she might have a little bit more heroin on her. In fact, she had 54 bags of heroin, 31 empty bags used to package heroin, and $51.22 in her vagina. Man, I wonder what else she keeps in there. <coughs> A 92-year-old woman in Florida was arrested for trying to shoot her 53-year-old neighbor because he wouldn't give her a kiss. Come on, give Granny some sugar. I don't know about you, I think I'd rather take the bullet too. <coughs> a picture in the Daily Mail has drawn a lot of attention to a little-known lake monster named Bonessi. Seems a amateur photographer, and man do I mean amateur, took this picture of Bonessi in Lake Windermere. Fortunately, another photographer got a better picture of Bonessi. Don't believe everything you see, folks. <coughs> and for my last story... Oh my god, it's Bigfoot! Whoa! Whoa, that was a big kick! Okay, maybe it's not Bigfoot, but it sure is weird. I mean, when I first watched it, it kind of just looks like a dude running along, but when you go back and take a look at it from the beginning, it's 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 kind of strange, because he's there the whole time, just kind of crouched down on all fours, and then after the shotgun blast, he runs to the other side. Now, it could be a setup, or it could just be an escaped convict. Either way, it's kind of messed up. <coughs> anyway, that's it for me, Hands Idle. Thanks for watching the show. Hands Idle, 60th Hello. show, Whoa. extravaganza. 60th show. 60th. I don't know why I chose 60, to be honest with you. I missed 50, I guess. But 60 seemed like a nice round number. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, those of you who have watched uh, all the shows and uh, anyone who uh, has subscribed to me, uh, I really appreciate it. I really do. And I hope uh, I hope I keep entertaining you. Um, leave some comments. Give me a thumbs up if you can. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Hans Idle. You're not. Take care. Have a good night. Kiss your ass goodbye!